just a side tip that has nothing to do with this video, but if you are nervous about wearing wigs, the truth is, is the more you wear them, the more that people get used to them. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is another one of the wig week videos. This is my second wig week. So it's wig week two? Wig week part two? Wig week? I'm losing my mind. Oh, I think my wig's too tight. Anyway, so in, in this wig week video, I wanted to talk about 10 questions you should ask yourself before purchasing a wig. So if that sounds good, stick around. Number one, how new are you to wigs? There are certain wigs that I think are a little bit more advanced than others. So you want to really think about how new you are. You want to get something that's a little bit more easier to use, maybe like a lace parting wig, one that's just like user friendly, maybe a little bit closer to your hair color or your hair texture. Think about how new you are to wigs. And I would like watch a lot of videos on putting on wigs, even if you just sort of have it in the background. And just know that your first couple wigs are probably gonna be like a work in progress in terms of A, you have to find out like what you like, what you don't like, what looks good on you, what you don't. So those first couple weeks, if you get one and it doesn't look quite right, don't just pin everything on that because it's like clothes. Sometimes you wear something that looks cute, sometimes it doesn't. Number two, how often or how frequent are you gonna wear the wig? And that's gonna determine what type of wig you're going to use, the fibers, if you're going to be wearing it a lot, um, if you think you're going to wear it every day for an extended period of time, you might want to consider a human hair wig um, or just understand that you will have to replace the wig a little bit more frequently if it's a synthetic wig. Are you gluing it down a lot or not? Because that's going to determine which type of wig you're going to want to get. The question three is how long are you going to wear the wigs? Like, so for instance, some wigs are just more comfortable longer. So I test a lot of my wigs out at work because at my work, if I like have to take my wig off, it's not a big deal. And I only live five minutes away from my job. So if something's like too tight or it's just not working out, it's, it's cool. Plus they're like used to me, seeing me with like long hair in the morning and then like short hair. <laughs> anyway, my work is really supportive but you have to think that like are you going to be wearing it out all night dancing around so the type of wig you're going to be wearing is going to be a little bit different than if you just like at work sitting at your desk or just going to lunch or what have you number four is for what occasions will you be wearing the wig if it's just for like one time like i have a friend who's really into like valentine's day and st patrick's day and things so yeah you might be able to get away with more of a cosplay type wig that doesn't have some nice parting or um nice rooting or anything because it's it, that's what it's meant for. Uh, you could be wearing it for theater or what have you, cosplay, or are you going to be wearing it to work? You're going to be wearing it like as a regular thing. So that's something to consider. Number five is what is your natural body temperature and are you sensitive to overheating? This is one I didn't think about until I wore a wig that I liked, but the roots were weird. So I wore a hat and I was at work and I like legit got so overheated, I thought I was going to freak out. And then on the uh, reverse side, I um, live in Northern Pennsylvania, so it's cold a lot of the time. And I have found that I can get away with wearing like thicker, like heavier wigs and it actually like keeps me warm, which is kind of cool. Um, but just in general, like if you live in a warmer climate, if you're naturally warm, you don't want a super like thick, wig or you don't want a wig cap that doesn't isn't breathable so these are just things to consider number six do you want the wig to look natural through the top in the parting area if you're gonna wear it with a hat and you don't care then that's fine um but if you're gonna wear it and you're gonna want people to if, if they don't necessarily think it's your own hair they don't know it's a wig necessarily if they don't know you and that's you know you're gonna have to keep that in mind when you are purchasing a wig so something that is if you want it to look more natural uh, a lace parting at the very least a uh, lace front that's something you're gonna want to do even maybe like a four by four parting if you don't really care then you could get what what's gonna be called like machine made where it doesn't really have this like part here or if you're gonna wear a hat on it so again I'm not answering the questions for you. These are just questions I think you should ask yourself before you purchase the wig. Sort of like wig coaching. 
Number seven, do you have a sensitive scalp and do you get frequent headaches? I am a migraine sufferer, so for the most part, I'm okay. But if I feel a migraine coming on, I have to know that like a wig at all sometimes it just isn't gonna work or if it's too tight it can start to give me a headache so that's just something that I have to keep in mind I don't have a particularly sensitive scalp but some of the lace like you're gonna see it could be called like French lace is like harder it's almost like a papery like a thick parchment paper and that can really start to get to your skin right there so if you have really um a sensitive head or scalp that's something you really need to consider or if you are frequenting headaches Number eight, would you like one main wig or options? Like me, I like to look different all the time, as much as possible. So I can have a bunch of different synthetic wigs and it's fine. Long, short, curly, like, it's funny because I wear them so often now. Like I had this one woman at work who used to actually get annoyed because I wore wigs and she's like, I never know who's in the office. Um, now, when I come in with my regular hair, they're like, whoa, like we didn't even realize, like, we haven't seen your hair in so long so people get used to it and number nine is what is your ideal price point uh human hair wigs are more pricey but you can keep them for a year or longer they're going to act more like your normal hair you can wear them regularly synthetic wigs i really like the 20 dollars range for my wigs um like this one i think i don't have her i want to say she was 24 dollars um, I really prefer wigs in that range. I will go as high as like 40 ish. Um, one wig I actually spent 50 something dollars on and that was Kishana from Bobby Boss because I wanted her in a specific color, which I'm so glad I did. Um, but that was like a one off situation. So you just have to know like what's your limit. Again, I have so many wigs, like I don't need to be spending 40, 50 bucks on a wig. I will spend money on uh, charisma wigs. They're usually the 40 ish dollar range, but that is like... That's like my highest really. And then number 10 is, do you wanna purchase them online or in store? And so you have to know, like if you're very new to wigs, I suggest at the very least going into a beauty supply store, trying them on, seeing what they look like, getting to know the textures and the shapes and the wig caps and options. But truthfully, if you buy them online, they're gonna be much like significantly cheaper. I do have a video of talking about pros and cons of beauty shop versus shopping online in my top online wig purchasing places and that should already be up so I'll link that if not look for that one. This is just sort of like coaching like wig you know wig buying coaching. Um, I don't know the answers for you these are just questions you should be asking yourself before you're purchasing a wig especially if you're newer to wigs. Um, if you are wig wear and you're thinking of other questions that people should be asking and thinking about when they purchase wigs please put those down below. If you haven't subscribed please do though if you haven't subscribed please do so. I upload Tuesday Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.